Can you please move back a little bit? Okay. I'm sitting in a tiny room at New York University having electrodes taped to my face for an experiment designed to uncover racial bias, even in people like me who like to believe they have no racial bias. Yeah. All I knew as the test began was that I kept hearing loud bangs in my headphones. So what was happening in there? What was going on? So what we were doing was measuring your eye blink startle response. When you hear a loud noise, you startle. It's just a natural reflex, you can't help it. But what we know is that startle reflex is tapped in to brain circuitry that's involved in emotional responding and fear. So if you're in a slightly fearful state, and just very subtly fearful, right? Not that you're actually feeling fear, you're going to startle more. And what we found is that for Caucasian Americans, they will startle slightly more when they're viewing an African American versus another white American. And this just is indicative of a slight emotional response um, that is not related to what you tell me your race attitudes are. Um, and in this way, it's sort of an, an implicit measure of um, race bias. Can you tell me what Jeffrey is looking at now? Jeffrey is looking at uh, just faces, black and white faces, and much like upstairs when you did that task, he's simply asked to press a button yeah. if a face is repeated. The brain circuitry involved in fear and that is behind the eye blink startle reflex centers on a brain region called the amygdala. So to see if she could find telltale traces of race bias directly within a person's brain, Liz chose the amygdala as her first target. So in the test I took before, yeah. I was measuring my eye blinks, yeah. You were seeing what the amygdala was doing through it causing me to blink. Yes, yes. Now you're looking at the amygdala itself? That is what this experiment was trying to see if we could do that. And so did we, it we, work? Well, it didn't quite work for the amygdala. It worked for another brain region oh. called the fusiform face area. Fusiform face area. Yeah. So the fusiform, What's that mean? The fusiform face area is a part of the brain uh, that's been, we've known for a long time, um, is, shows more activation to faces huh. than other things. Where is it? it where, where would it be on me? With you, it'd be, it'd be sort of somewhere back here, going in a little bit, maybe a little yeah. bit, you know, around you, a little behind and you. Do most other people have it there too? Yeah, <laughs> so good. it kind okay. of moves around from person to person. So what we actually oh. do oh. is we show people um, a bunch of faces versus scrambled faces to find where it, exactly it is in you. It's, I mean, it's the same general region of the brain, yes. but the exact region moves around a little bit. I see, so then once you identify it in a person, when that lights up, when they see someone of another race, mm -hmm. it tells you something? What we see is that we can predict not with a high degree of accuracy, so this would not hold up in legal standards, yeah. right? But slightly above chance yeah. if somebody shows a strong implicit bias. 